Hi everyone. Today I'm going to show you my second Z Gallery inspired glitter wall art piece. I experimented this time with some spray paint and crushed mirror. I needed something to go into this blank area above my couch and instead of spending hundreds of dollars on something, I figured I'd create something of my own. So I went to Hobby Lobby and got this large 36 by 48 canvas. It was originally $75, but I used their 50% off online coupon. And I had these materials already from my previous wall art. And like I said, I'm gonna experiment with spray paint this time. I used two cans of that silver metallic paint. You don't have to do this. Acrylic paint is just fine, but I just wanted to see you know, what it would come out looking like with spray paint this time. Now, honestly, I like acrylic paint better. That's my preference. Um, and I'll show you why in just a moment. See how splotchy it is after it dried? Probably because I didn't prime it first. However, acrylic paint just worked out better for me. And because of my OCD here, I'm covering up the splotchiness and just trying to even it out with some silver metallic acrylic paint. However, you don't need to do this. This is something that I just wasn't thinking about, but I'm going to cover up all of those imperfections with crushed mirror and glitter anyway, so this was totally unnecessary. If you're going to recreate this, choose either the acrylic paint or the spray paint. Either one will be just fine. It just depends on what your preference is. So here I'm going to just kind of brush stroke in where I want some icicles to be. If you decide to go full spray paint, you can do this with Mod Podge. I let that dry for a couple hours, and now I'm gonna paint on some Mod Podge for my crushed mirror to stick to. Now after I have my crushed mirror completely down, I'm going to take my foam brush with some more Mod Podge and just paint the Mod Podge on top of the painted brush strokes of the icicles that I created. If you choose not to go with the acrylic paint and just use spray paint, this step is all you need to do to create your icicles. Now I am covering my icicles with glitter as well as adding glitter to some crushed glass areas as well. Now after I let this dry for about four hours, I'm going to just stand it upright and shake off the excess crushed glass to see what it looks like. 
make sure that you have old sheets or some kind of tarp, some plastic, something to catch your crushed glass because it is going to get everywhere and you're going to want to gather it all up and use whatever excess fell out again. Here I'm just gathering it up and putting it back in the package to use again. There's gonna be some areas on the canvas that are bald, that didn't um, stick very well. So now I'm taking the Mod Podge and I'm just filling in those areas that didn't adhere. And I'm gonna add more glitter and crushed glass to those areas so that it combines very well and just, um, you know, there's no blank spots. Now I've decided that I wanted more definition for my icicles, so I took a drop of black paint with some of my silver metallic paint and started mixing it until I liked the color that I had. Just one drop of black paint just makes it so dark, so use as little as possible. Um, now I'm just gonna go ahead and define my icicles so they stand out a bit more and don't blend in so much with the silver spray paint. Just want those to, to pop, you know? And now here I am putting down Mod Podge to seal in the crushed glass in the mirror so I don't have any fallout. However, this is a very large piece. So I decided to go ahead and use my spray adhesive instead because it, I probably would have ran out of the regular Mod Podge. It was just a lot of work to do that. So here's the before in that blank area that I'm gonna fill in. And here's the after. Thank you so much again for coming to watch another one of my DIYs. I hope you enjoyed it. Give it a thumbs up, like, and subscribe if you haven't done so already. Thanks again.